Welcome to my video series of Biotechnics Explained in 5 Minutes, where I explain a concept of biology in less than 5 minutes or so. Now, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon to get repeated notification about the latest updates. So today's installment will be talking about East 2 hybrid system, which is an important way to study protein-protein interaction in vitro. Mind that you cannot use this technique to study protein-protein interaction in vivo. Now, East before yeast 2 hybrid, we should understand a basic metabolic principle inside the yeast. Now, yeast can metabolize galactose and they need enzymes for that, which is encoded by gal gene. And the transcription factor that transcribe these genes is known as gal4. Now, gal4 has a activation domain and a DNA binding domain. DNA binding domain binds to the DNA, and activation domain interacts with the polymerase, which would help the transcription to initiate. Now, in East 2 hybrid system, you have two plasmid. One plasmid is known as bait plasmid, second plasmid is known as fish plasmid. So you think that a protein A is interacting with protein B. So your bait would be protein A because you want to understand whether A is interacting with B or C or D. So your bait is protein A. Now you genetically encode protein A in this bait, bait plasmid. So it's an expression vector and it would express give rise to the bait protein which is itself a chimera of gal4 activation domain and the bait protein similarly the fish protein would be a chimera of fish protein and the gal4 dna binding domain now let's say the gal4 dna binding domain and the activator domain both would interact with each other only if bait and fish interacts with each other and the readout by which we would understand that the transcription is happening is by putting a reporter gene. By understanding whether the reporter gene is expressing, we would understand whether the bait and the fish are interacting and in turn whether the GAL4 AD and the GAL4 DBD is interacting with each other. Now, the if the bait and the fish plasmacy interacts, so definitely the target gene would be uh, transcribed. In this case, it's the reporter gene. Now, if they don't interact, the target gene won't be transcribed, right? So it's a simple readout, and the reporter gene is has to be fairly simple. It could be a metabolic gene, for example. The reporter in this case is his reporter. This would give rise to histidine, and we would use a yeast strain which cannot metabolize histidine itself, and we would grow the yeast in a histidine depleted media. So it would only the yeast colony would only grow if these particular bait and the fish plasmid interacts and thereby the his reporter is produced right now the way we do this is we have a single single bait plasmid let's say the bait plasmid give rise to the protein a and we want to understand whether protein a is interacting with a plethora of proteins so we would have multiple fish plasmid in which several cdna for different protein would be cloned and then the base, the bait plasmid and the fish plasmid would be co-transfected into the yeast and the yeast would be grown. Now, the way we read out the data is we spot the yeast colonies according to dilution and try to understand where the colony has formed. If the colony has formed, that means the gal gene is, tr the, the, uh, the histidine gene is transcribed and that in turn means the protein has interacted with each other which would give rise to the transcription. So in this particular situation, in, so in this particular situation, you can see they are interacting with each other, but other situations they are not interacting with each other, and as a result, the situations where they are not interacting with each other, you are not seeing any kind of colonies there, right? So that is how we would understand two proteins are interacting with each other or not. So if you like my video, give it a quick thumbs up and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.